Our next project is a coil pot. We start with our clay. I have my clay here and my rolling pin and I'm going to start rolling this out. Notice how I move it around as I roll it so that it doesn't stick to my rolling pin or to my board. And I like to flip it. That way I get the creases out on this side as well as the creases on this side. This will be the base of your coil pot. You need to make it as even as you can and the width that you want to make it is about the width of your little finger. Notice how I keep rolling. I keep flipping it. Okay. It's about the width that I want it to be. I have cut a circle pattern. You may you can cut a circle pattern and it needs to be at least five inches. I don't know if you can see that in the camera. It needs to be at least five inches in diameter. I'm going to put this on my base and with my pointed stick or with a pointed stick I'm going to cut out around my base. So that I have the base of my pot, take away my extra clay, fold it up. Remember to keep all your extra clay in your bag. All right, I'm going to make sure that I can take that off, flip it over. Now I'm going to take my water and I'm going to smooth my edges just so that they're nice and smooth. Flip it around, smooth my edges. You want to have everything as smooth as you can so that you get a good grade on your project. Okay. All right, now that I have my base ready, the next step is to make your coil. So I'm going to take out a little bit of my clay. Make sure I keep the rest of my thing. I'm going to squish it up. And I'm going to start rolling my clay. Now, to make nice, even coils, you start at the center and you start rolling to the outside. Now, my coil, notice it's a little bit rectangle and it's not rolling as well so I keep working with it. Keep working with it. And then I start rolling it out from the center. You want your coils to also be about the width of your finger. Your fingers are smaller than mine. So I'm going to recommend that you do your coils about the size of your index finger. If you have larger hands like mine, then you want to do it the size of your pinky finger. Notice I start in the center, rolling it out, trying to keep my coil nice and round. If you do it even like this, you're going to have a nice even coil. If you just do one hand, you're going to find that your coil is not going to be even. Notice how it's thinner here than it is here, because I'm using more pressure here. So I want to thin out the rest of my coil. This is about the width that I want right here. Uh-oh, it's coming apart. That will not work. 
So just cut that off, squish it up, put it back in my pot, keep rolling out my coil. Okay, my coil is about the size I need it to be. The next step, as always, is to score. So I'm going to score around my base. And I'm going to slip it. Put my slip on there. Make sure you have plenty of slip because you do not want these coils to come off. Then I'm going to score my rope. Add slip to it. Remember your slip is kind of a thick like pudding. Okay. Now I add it to my pot. Push it down. And if I want to have a pot that's mastery, I am going to make sure that I line up with the edge. Move this a little bit into the camera view. So I line it up with my edge of my base. Make sure it's all lined up. Okay, now I've got this little edge, but that's okay because that's where we're going to start our next coil. Now I've smoothed it a little, but you don't have to smooth it very much yet because you're going to do that later. Alright, now I'm going to make my next coil. I'm going to get out my clay. Squish it all up. I like to squish it up and roll it get some of those creases out that I didn't get out too well last time. You know, so I'm starting from the center, kind of creasing there, so I'm going to add a little bit of water to help it. That tells me generally that the clay is starting to dry out, and this is older clay. Try to keep your coils the same. Now you may say, Mrs. Hummerick, well then I think I'll roll all my coils out first before I put them on. But then they have a chance to dry out. The more you place it outside the bag, the more it will dry out. So I like to make my coils one or two at a time. So 
so that it doesn't dry out on me. my board and so all right now once again we score it score the top Flip it. Or the other one. Okay, I'm going to start it there, but I'm going to actually smooth it down a little bit so that it blends in right there and has a little bit of an angle. And now I'm going to start squishing it onto my coil. Now, as you build it up, this is where your pot can change shapes. You can have it go straight up like a cylinder. Whoops, I need to score that, the new area. Always slip and score where you're adding new theme. Okay? Alright, so I can have it go cylinder straight up. I can have it now start to come out like a bowl, which is what I want to do. And so I'm going to start that shape. Make sure you push your coils down. Get it in there. Alright, now I'm going to do another one. And we're going to continue on. And as I build, I'm going to just let you watch.
finished building my coils. I've added them all on. I'm going to check with my ruler and make sure that my height is even all the way around. If I find that it's smaller, I can take a small coil such as this and I can add it, make sure you slip and score it, and add it and blend it in so that it is the same height all the way around. And mine is really close. It does look like it's just a hair lower right here. So I'm going to score it. Add my slip. I only need a little. I'm going to score it. Add my slip. this and blend it in to get my height. So I blend that in. Notice how I'm holding the sides to support them as I use pressure to blend that in. I don't want my sides to collapse. All right. Now, I don't have that totally blended in, but that's my next step that I'm going to talk to you about. So now that I have my pot even all the way around, the next step is to take my water and I'm now going to start blending my coils. You can use your slip to help you with this. Notice how I support it with my hand on this side and I'm now going to start blending those coils in. Now if you want to leave the coils on one side only blend on one side but have the coils show like on the outside yeah, it's okay but you do want to blend them at least on one side because that makes your coils stick together. I'm going to blend my quills on both sides because I do not want to see the quills at all. Notice how I'm holding my pot to support it as I use my finger and carefully blend it. Take your time. You do not want your quills to come apart. And you don't want it to be too thin. If you make your walls too thin, they will crack and then your pot will be destroyed. Okay, so take your time. You're now going to start blending these coils together.
Okay, now the next step is to decorate your bowl. I have mine ready to go. I'm going to get some clay. I've smoothed everything off on the sides. So I take a little water, make sure it's smooth, check it, make sure it's all even and it's circular. Okay, now with my clay. I'm going to decorate mine by putting an edge on the top. So I'm going to roll out my clay. Remember that I roll it and I flip it so that I can get even rolling and even um, evenness through my clay. You don't want to roll it too thin because remember anything too thin will break. And then I'm going to take my tool and I'm going to carve out kind of a leaf shape. Using my fingers and my water, I'm going to shape it. Smooth it so I don't have any ragged edges. Use my tools. I'm going to make sure it's smooth. Okay. Now I'm going to put my leaf designs in there. I'm going to kind of shape it. And then, of course, as always, we score. Score. Put some slip on there. And I'm going to shape my leaf around my bowl. Put it on there and I'm going to redo my design and my leaf. Now I'm going to cut out another one. The same thing, I'm going to smooth it. Use my water.
Okay, I'm going to decide where I want to put my leaf. And then I will do my scoring. Put my slip. And I'm going to continue on adding my leaves.